right, so I thought it was time for a uh, little vloggy vlog, as I say. So, uh, yeah, it's been really nice here in Phoenix, as you can see out there. It's sunny. It's dry. We get uh, a lot of beautiful days here. And um, so recently, you know, I took my electric bike to work. I can drive from where I live or drive, ride my bicycle <laughs> from where I live and come to work and then ride it home because there's a big uh, bike path, basically. So I thought I would show you a little of that today and uh, you can check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's about 13 miles and I um, get to go on the electric bike so it helps me pedal. I probably couldn't do this if I didn't have the electric assist. And, you know, it does about maybe uh, 24, 25 miles an hour. And, you know, if you pedal, obviously, and help it and push, you can go faster. And it's a really beautiful bike trail. Uh, it goes all the way from, you know, the city of Mesa. That's somewhere where I live here in the Phoenix area. And it goes all the way up through Tempe and stuff like that and to Phoenix. And so... Uh, pretty much almost all the way right to my door. There's only like, I think, two or three miles at the end. I have to go on some city streets to get to the storefront, you know. So it's really cool, and uh, I thought I would just show you that. All right, so, yeah, some more equipment for the storefront has arrived, of course. So I have to unpack that and then assemble stuff. And... Uh, so right around here is the electric bicycle. It's charging. So about 13 miles in to work from where I live. And, you know, 13 miles home. So I have to charge it. It has to be charged, you know, for each way. But you can probably get 20, easy 20 miles where you allow the electric motor to, to do <laughs> most of the work. So it's pretty cool. 20 miles, basically, on a single charge at least, I would say. If you pedal and help a lot, it's going to be more than that. So if you really work and pedal as much as possible, then, you know, on one charge, who knows? You might be able to do 30 miles with the assist, you know, or more. Some people bicycle more than that with no electric motor. I can't do that. I, I'm still trying to get back into shape. Just like Scully. What's up, Scully? Alright, so yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm still trying to get this equipment all out and unpacked i'm making stickers for it i have to do stickers for the equipment and everything and and then there's squeegee to cut down there again you see job is never done and then like i'm having troubles making some videos right now because it's really noisy back here and this is why here i should have opened the door sorry guys this is like all right so this is what's going on in back of my shop, if I could hold the camera straight for you. So they tore out all the all the uh, asphalt here because these buildings, so these buildings on the right where my unit is, okay, here's my place right here. Look, took it all the way up to the thing, right? These are old, these were built in the 80s or something and then now, they built these ginormous, look, there's three of them. One, two, and then over here, third one. This reminds me of like the Wild West, like a street in the Wild West, right? So it's been loud in the shop. So, you know, I have a couple of screen printing videos and stuff that I can do, but it's just been really, really freaking loud. I actually have uh, sample shirts here in the Phoenix storefront with the inks printed on them. You know, the inks that I sell printed on them. So it's plastisol, water-based, stuff like that. It's pretty cool.
So I always keep a couple of these little tabletop exposure units in stock in the Phoenix storefront, you know. Sell a lot of them out of here, actually. And uh, these two I just got in the other day. I unboxed them and, you know, got them in here. And already somebody was looking at one today. Oh, you know, think about it, come back, you know. So it's pretty cool. And the, all out of all of them that I've sent here to Phoenix to sell here, I've never got one or received one with broken glass. So hope I'm not jinxing myself. All right, so you're way over there. I have the little uh, boom mic on there, so I don't know how the audio is, but I, I have a few more boxes to open up. And in here somewhere is a two-color one station with the new universal setup. So let me try to find it and put it together and show you that. All right, check out the mess that I make every time I put one of these bench presses or something together. I was multitasking, I was cutting vinyl. You know, makes a huge mess, doesn't it? So anyway, <laughs> here's the uh, P405C and the P110C. So now all the bench presses basically will take the same accoutrements as all the Ranar floor presses. So it's really cool. Universalized. So bench presses and floor presses from Ranar now take the same pallets and accessories. I have to finish putting together that one print head. But uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. And uh, my buddy's here in the back. He's um, trying to print something in here. See? Somebody's back here. You can't see anything. <laughs> so somebody's doing darker mode in there. All right, Scully, what up? All right, anyway, finally got everything put together and cleaned up. So that's a good deal. Well, that's about it for today. Enough nonsense for today, yeah? So that's all. Just uh, vloggy, vloggy, vlog. Thanks for watching, everybody, and of course, I'll see you next time in the next screen printing video. Thanks for watching.